On July 7th, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced actions to protect consumers from junk health insurance plans, surprise medical bills, and excess costs that can lead to medical debt. These actions actually apply across several federal agencies. Some of the intent is to, first of all, roll back some of the Trump administration's health care rules to build on legislation to prevent surprise medical bills and overall contribute to the Biden administration's effort to eliminate hidden fees and lower health care costs. A lot of the actions fall into three broad categories. We're going to go through those quickly. The first one is to lower prescription drug costs. With the actions announced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, they also released some research on lower out-of-pocket costs resulting from that Inflation Reduction Act that was passed at the end of 2022. The law made changes to the Medicare Part D program. All of the changes should be implemented by 2025. And the report projects out that the new law could actually reduce out-of-pocket spending by nearly $400 for each of the nearly 19 million seniors taking advantage of the plan. That's a cumulative $7.4 billion in a reduction in annual out-of-pocket spending by this population. The second category, get rid of some of those junk insurance plans. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Department of Labor, and the Treasury said they're issuing a proposed rule to crack down on junk insurance plans. These are those short-term plans that don't have to follow the consumer protections and coverage mandates of the Affordable Care Act often leads to surprise medical bills when people find out they actually don't have comprehensive coverage. Also could mean discriminating against people with pre-existing conditions. Under the Obama administration, these plans could only last three months in duration. Under the Trump administration, those plans were extended to a year with the ability to extend for an additional three years. The proposed rule rolls it back to the Obama administration's regulations of a duration of only three months and being much more clear that they are intended to be short-term, limited plans, and not comprehensive coverage. Also, the other provision, protecting consumers from cost. The actions announced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services work to improve transparency and protect consumers from unexpected out-of-pocket costs. The agency's actually released a frequently asked questions document to better clarify the No Surprises Act and the Affordable Care Act. They say they want to help consumers receive the appropriate protections under these laws under which they are entitled. The Frequently Asked Questions also reiterates requirements for plans and issuers to make price information available to consumers, including any information about things like facility fees, some of those other fees. In a statement, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator, Jaquita brooks Lashore calls these changes life-changing for millions of Americans. She says no one should go bankrupt trying to get and keep themselves or their family healthy. She continues, CMS is committed to a more transparent, fair, and accountable health system for the people we serve. And she says we will continue to clarify consumer rights under the No Surprises Act, work to better understand the impact of medical debt, and limit non-comprehensive junk insurance plans. You can read more on these actions. We link to several resources in the description below.